Hey, what's up you guys, it's Connor. And holy crap, it's almost time to go back to school. And I'm directing this mostly at the college kids because I'm pretty sure most high schoolers are already back in school. But either way, it sucks. But yeah, so as a new semester rolls around, oh my God, there's just so many more problems that arise. So in this video, I wanna talk about some things that I don't like about college and really in general, they're just college student problems. The many things that suck about college. And as I name the things that suck, I'm gonna try and give you some advice on them as well. Make this video just a little bit more positive. Okay, so one of the major problems like all college students have is making new friends. I mean, it's really freaking difficult to come to a completely new place and make a whole new group of friends. Like you go from high school, from having all these friends that you've known forever, forever, and just ever and ever and ever, and then you drop into college and you have none and it sucks. So some advice I can give you on that is to join a sport, a club team, or just some organizations on your campus. I cannot stress this enough. That is the easiest way to make friends. Since I'm on the cross country and swim team here at my college, it's like you have automatically friends. You just have auto friends. It's like you join, it's just like BAM! 50 friends. So I really stress that. Get involved and trust me, you'll get more friends. And don't be an asshole. It's just kind of a general rule. Another thing that sucks about college is having to pay for expensive textbooks. You come from high school where everything is free and you don't even realize how expensive that book that you're doodling in actually is. It's actually ridiculous how many hundreds of dollars I spend on even just one book. And when you combine that into like four plus classes a semester, it really totals up. And it just adds to the debt. Just adds to the debt. Now for the advice. The way I save money on textbooks is I go to slugbooks.com. I feel like a lot of people don't know about this website, but it's honestly one of the best websites I've ever been on. So basically the website compares prices on the book across the internet, like through Amazon and other websites, and it finds you the best deal on the book. So if you've ever searched on the web for a plane ticket, it's kind of just like that. And honestly, I was skeptical about online shopping for books because you're just like, eh, I don't really know. It could be really sucky. But seriously, I was so surprised. And honestly, it helps me out so much because I can't just go straight to Amazon and just check there and just buy all my books, I need to compare it to other websites. So this website makes sure I always get the best deal. The best deal. It's super easy. So all you have to do is you go type in your college name, you'll select the department like chemistry or theology or English or whatever you're taking. Then you'll just find the course you're in and boom, you're done. It'll pop up on a page with all the books you need and the cheapest website. So just for an example, I search one of my textbooks I need next semester and boom, that's how much I saved. Insane. And that's just on one textbook. Err. My. Good. But if you guys go check out this website, comment below how much you saved. I'm gonna be really interested to see on the huge deals you guys got. Moving on. Another problem a lot of college students have is roommates. The majority of people that go to college get a roommate. And a large majority of those people hate their roommate. It's literally a toss up. You never know when you're gonna get someone awesome or someone that's a complete psycho. You could get someone that you completely hate or you could get someone that is your best friend for life. Your piffle. Some advice that I suggest, try and make the best out of the situation. No matter what happens, if you try and become your roommate's friend on the first day and make a good impression, it could really change how your first year of college goes. So do it! Another thing that a lot of people struggle with in college is their weight. The freshman 15. Or in the worst cases, the freshman 50. But let's not go that far, let's not go that far. I honestly thought the freshman 15 was like a joke. It was just kind of that thing people said to joke around about college, but once you're here, you kind of realize that it's pretty true. A lot of people gain a lot of weight very fast in college. So what I suggest is that you exercise. Go with a friend, go with your roommate, go with your teacher if you're into that. Honestly, just make a schedule, go with someone, and it'll be a lot better. Start off right away so you get in the habit of it right away. And hey, if you exercise even more, you can eat more too. What? What? Shocker! I take advantage of that. And the last thing that I know every single college student struggles with is classes and homework. Woo, you're in college, woo, crazy parties, crazy everything. Ooh, classes and homework, what? Wait, say what, we gotta do homework in this place? What up with that, man, what up with that? When you enter college, you go from being home where your parents are always like, do your homework, do your homework! Don't know what accent that was, but either way, they tell you to do your homework a lot. And then you come to college where you're super independent and it's like, oh, I don't have to do my homework now, do I? But then you realize you're paying thousands of dollars a year to attend this university, so you do it anyway. But my advice is to have a balance. For sure, you can go have fun in college, but you also have to balance it out with doing your homework. You don't want to be that kid that's in his room 24-7 just typing away, trying to be, I need A's, I need A's, or my parents are gonna kill me with whips and 
guns and oh my god, call the police. But you also don't want to be that kid that everyone's like, oh my god. He actually goes to school here? I thought he was just some hobo that lived outside the bar. I'm telling you, they're both. It's it's legit. It's a problem. It's a problem in our society. So have a balance. Do a little bit of both. Work hard, play hard. Wiz Khalifa. Where was I going with this? I really don't even know anymore. College, everybody. College. Man, I love college. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below some other college problems you're having. I'll be going through the comments and hopefully helping you guys out. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the subscribe button below. I make new videos every Monday. Follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, like my Facebook page, and also subscribe to my second channel. I'd really appreciate it. But other than that, I'm gonna go! Okay, this week was all about college. I don't even know, I don't even know about college. Are you in college? Are you in middle school? Are you in high school? I don't even know. You could be a little baby or a grandma. I don't even know. Oh my god, call the police.